Hi, I'm James Laurinaitis here with Big Ten Network, and these are my power rankings. Um, looking back on this last week's action, uh, I really felt that um, keeping Michigan at number three instead of having them drop with the loss to Notre Dame was because of the fact that they went on the road and played a really tough Notre Dame team. And if Michigan State would have had an impressive victory or Penn State would have had an impressive victory, uh, one of those two teams could have jumped them. But in hindsight, those two teams were at home uh, in Michigan State and Penn State, and they struggled with a much inferior opponent. Uh, my biggest risers were Northwestern Wildcats and their big win over Purdue. I thought they looked extremely impressive, and Jeremy Larkin was a guy that replaced Justin Jackson. And so I think they're a real threat in the Big Ten West, as well as Maryland. I think Maryland, uh, in a revenge game for Texas, was able to get a huge win with all the stuff surrounding Maryland. They were able to focus and get a huge W. And hopefully, if they can stay healthy, they're going to be a big player in the Big Ten East. So uh, my thinking overall is when I think of power rankings, it's not week to week. It won't fluctuate too much. It's about who are the best teams in the Big Ten. From learning over the last few years, when they get to the end of the year in those college football playoff uh, rankings and, and who they pick, it's about who are the best teams. So trying to evaluate after only one game who the best teams are is still tough to do.